Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and today's topic is peripheral neuropathy and but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel you know? and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so you can click that link to visit the website now I come to the topic what is peripheral neuropathy you know you the peripheral uh, nervous system connects the uh, nerves from your brain and the spinal cord uh, the central nervous system to the rest of your body you know? and this includes your arms hands feet legs internal organs mouth and face you know? and uh, the job of these nerves is to deliver the signals about the physical sensation back to your brain now the peripheral neuropathy is a disorder that occurs when these uh, nerves malfunction because they are damaged or they are destroyed you know and uh, this uh, disrupts the nerves uh, normal functioning and uh, this might send the signals of the pain when there's nothing causing pain you know or uh, they might not send a pain signal even if something is uh, harming you you know so uh, this can be due to like uh, injury it may be due to any inherited disorder maybe like systemic illness or maybe due to infection you know and the, the disorder is uh, like uncomfortable uh, but treatments can be very helpful and the most important thing to determine is whether the peripheral neuropathy is the result of a serious underlying condition you know uh, the next thing is what are the types of peripheral neuropathy well there are more than 100 different types of the peripheral neuropathy you know and uh, each type has the unique symptoms and the specific treatment options you know so the peripheral neuropathies are further classified by the type of the nerve uh, uh, damage involved you know like uh, uh, mono neuropathy occurs when only one nerve is damaged you know and uh, polyneuropathies uh, which means that more uh, which are more common and the multiple nerves are involved you know uh, you know the three types of the peripheral nerves are there are three types you know like sensory nerves uh, motor nerves and uh, autonomic nerves you know you know the sensory nerves are which connect uh, to your skin you know and the motor nerves which connect to your muscles and the autonomic nerves which connect to your internal organs okay so sensory motor and uh, autonomic nerves you know so the sensory nerves I repeat connected to the skin, motor nerves connected to the muscles and the autonomic nerves which are connected to the internal organs like heart or lungs and spleen and liver etc. You know? So the peripheral neuropathy can affect one nerve group or maybe all nerve group, all three you know. And the symptoms of the peripheral neuropathy may include like a tingling in the hands or maybe tingling in the feet you know. A feeling like you are wearing a tight glove or socks you know a numbness in the hands or numbness in the feet uh, a buzzing or shocking sensation uh, maybe a weak or heavy feeling in the arms or in the legs you know uh, digestive difficulty uh, especially in case of uh, autonomic uh, uh, nerve damage you know or maybe thinning of the skin you know, with uh, sensory nerves are involved you know and uh, uh, sexual dysfunction especially in men you know or diarrhea excessive sweating so these are the common signs and the symptoms you know and uh, these symptoms can uh, also indicate other con uh, like uh, conditions and uh, make sure to tell your doctor about all your symptoms in detail you know so it will help your doctor to make the right diagnosis okay now, the next thing is what are the causes well the people who have the family history of the peripheral neuropathy uh, they are more likely to develop this disorder you know and uh, the variety of factors and the underlying conditions may also cause the condition uh, like generalized diseases or maybe um, you know injury or maybe alcohol and toxins you know infections autoimmune disorders you know uh, when we are talking about generalized which may be the nerve damage caused by the diabetes is often the most common form of neuropathy you know and this leads to the numbness 
pain and loss of sensation in the extremities, maybe in the feet or maybe in the hands, you know. And the risks of neuropath increase is like uh, if you're overweight, if you have a high blood pressure, your age is over 40, you know, uh, have the diabetes, you know. And uh, other chronic diseases may cause the uh, neuropathies or nerve damage, which may include like kidney disorders, uh, hypothyroidism, and uh, diseases that cause the chronic inflammation, you know. And uh, deficiencies of vitamin B1, B6, B12, and E, you know, uh, which are uh, essential for the nerve health, you know, and functioning, you know. Injuries, like accidents, okay. Uh, alcoholism, smoking, infections, autoimmune disorders, okay, so viruses such as herpes simplex or viruses like zoster and maybe chickenpox, you know, shingles, uh, HIV and AIDS, you know, and uh, autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, they can also affect the peripheral nerve system, you know, in many ways, you know. And uh, there are certain medications that uh, uh, can cause the nerve damage and they may include like uh, anticonvulsants, you know, drugs to fight bacterial infections, uh, some blood pressure medications and uh, medications used uh, to treat cancer, you know. Uh, the next thing is how do doctors diagnose? Well, first of all, your doctor will perform the physical examination and uh, he will look at your reflexes, you know, responses, you know of the nerves and muscles, etc., you know. Uh, he'll ask you the question about the history of the disease, you know. Uh, like which area is involved, you know, for how long you're having is any underlying condition, etc., you know, any family history, you know. And uh, if he suspects, then he will advise the further tests, which may include like blood tests to measure them, like uh, vitamin uh, B6 or B12 or E levels in the blood, you know. Uh, thyroid function tests, uh, CT scan or MRI to see if anything pressing on the nerves, you know, such as like a herniated disc or maybe tumor, you know. And uh, sometimes the doctor may advise the nerve biopsy, you know. Uh, this is a minor surgery and that involves removing a small amount of the nerves, nerve tissues, you know, that can be seen under the microscope to see if there's any inflammation of any other abnormality, you know. And, uh, and other test is electromyography, you know, uh, or uh, which is, uh, which can show the problems, how your body's nerve signals move uh, to your muscles, you know. And the nerve conduction study is another treatment, uh, sorry, is the other test, you know. Uh, in this test, your doctor will place the electrodes onto your skin and then uh, uh, they pulse a tiny amounts of electric uh, through the nerves to see if the nerves are transmitting signals properly, you know. And this procedure is slightly uncomfortable uh, while it's happening, but it's uh, it shouldn't hurt afterwards, you know. So it's comparatively it's, it's a safe procedure otherwise, you know. And it helps to diagnose the uh, neuropathies, you know, and uh, specifically which nerves are involved you know uh, once diagnosed and what are the treatment options uh, well the treatment is based uh, on the treating the underlying disorder underlying cause you know and if the diabetes is the cause uh, making certain that uh, blood glucose is controlled it's very important you know and uh, if it's due to the vitamin deficiencies then uh, and the vitamin supplements play an important role a part of treatment you know and uh, the many treatments can bring relief and can uh, help you return to your normal activities you know and uh, sometimes a combination of treatments work better you know uh, there are some over-the-counter medications like uh, uh, tolinol and maybe non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs you know aspirin and ibuprofen uh, they can help to control the pain, you know. And uh, if they don't work, then your doctor may prescribe you the stronger medications for the pain, you know. And these include like narcotics, sometimes anti-epileptic medications and uh, 
uh, some antidepressants, you know, maybe combination, you know. And uh, the prescription drugs for the sex or dysfunction uh, in men may include, are also helpful and may include like Viagra or maybe uh, strain dry, etc. You know. Uh, now your doctor can use uh, several medical treatments to control the symptoms of these conditions, you know. And uh, plasma phrases is a blood transfusion that uh, removes the potentially irritating antibodies from your bloodstream. And if you get a nerve block, uh, your doctor will inject an anesthetic directly into the nerves, you know. And uh, another treatment option is like uh, uh, transcutaneous electronic nerve stimulation, you know, which is known as TENS. And, uh, uh, but it does not work for everyone, uh, but many people like it because uh, it's a drug free therapy, you know. And, uh, you know, during this treatment, uh, electrodes placed on the skin, they send signal a small amounts of the electric, uh, electricity into the skin, you know. And uh, the goal is uh, to disrupt the nerves from uh, transmitting the pain signals to the brain, you know. And uh, uh, ergonomic costs and disciplines are also helpful uh, if the neuropathy uh, affects your feet, your arms, your legs and your hands, you know. And uh, there are some other um, like massage or medications or yoga and uh, acupuncture and uh, chiropractic care. Yeah, they are also helpful uh, to manage the symptoms. Uh, if the neuropathy is due to any underlying condition, you know, uh, you may be able to stop your peripheral neuropathy by just simply treating that underlying condition, you know. Uh, but if this is not the case, uh, you can successfully manage the symptoms of your peripheral neuropathy and speak with your doctor to determine the best medical treatment option for you. Okay. It can be controlled well uh, or prevented like uh, yeah, wide alcohol uh, drinking uh, moderation in moderation is okay, you know, but uh, wide smoking, healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, exercise regularly. So this way is uh, you can lower the chance of uh, having the peripheral neuropathy. And if your blood pressure, blood sugar, and they are well controlled, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.